Hey everyone, for this video, I just want to share with you this brand new razor that I got and it's the newest Gillette Labs by Gillette. I bought this from Costco for about 30 bucks. So when I saw this at Costco selling for that price, I was actually hesitant or skeptical considering you are getting one razor, eight cartridges and obviously the magnetic stand. For that price, I said you really can't go wrong, especially for Gillette. Now, I have been a big fan of Gillette products when it comes to Razer. I actually been using the Gillette Pro Glide product for a long time now. I haven't looked back ever since. I have tried different brands, you know, just to see if there's other products out there that can compete with Gillette in terms of quality and performance. Unfortunately, that usually ends up with me deviating back to Gillette after getting disappointed with different brands. So for this product here, Gillette is actually introducing its new type of razor with exfoliating bar or technology built into the handle. And what Gillette is trying to say is this part here, right on to the razor itself, which is actually pretty cool. In terms of the comparison for the Fusion Pro Glide, I believe it would be this rubber strip here that is built onto the cartridges itself. And normally I replace my cartridge about once every three months. And all this time, I always notice this part here, the exfoliating part of the cartridge is still in good condition. So if Gillette managed to somehow simplify it by relocating the exfoliating bar right onto the razor itself, that would actually save in terms of material cost. Secondly, the newest feature that comes with this razor is this round part here, and Gillette is calling that 2D Flex Disc. What they're saying is that this new feature here, having that circular pivot technology maximize the blade's contact with skin in every stroke, adapting to the contours of your face. This innovative design combined with the iconic five blade cartridges featuring five of Gillette's thinnest and finest blades mounted on highly responsive springs once you're done grooming. Simply dock your razor in the premium magnetic stand, which is this part here, and you are good to go for the next usage. I like the design. I believe it looks really good. Again, I have not opened this box and I want to share with you my experience in terms of what I think. So far, I am impressed based on what I'm looking. The packaging alone, the price that I have paid for, 30 bucks at Costco, that is quite hard to beat. Like what I mentioned earlier, if you do decide to buy about four packs uh, cartridges for the Fusion Pro Glide, it would easily cost you about $25 Canadian. So anyhow, let's open this product and uh, go from there and I'll give you what I think as I go by in terms of my experience with the product. To be honest with you, the packaging of this product is quite amazing. I do not know how Costco is able to sell this product for this price. I have a feeling this is a promotional product. I do not know if it's going to come back again after the store is sold out with this product. I want to say Gillette is basically marketing this new razor for effortless shaving in one efficient stroke. I mean, the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide itself when it came out was an amazing razor. I was actually like, wow, this is probably one of the best razors I have ever seen in my life when the first time I saw the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. So first off, I'm just gonna grab the razor itself. That's actually feels pretty good. That feels solid. It has some weight into it, however, it's not too heavy, but it's just nice and sturdy feel. Now the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide that I have here is a little bit heavier because it has a battery. The one that vibrates is the one that I have, but in terms of movement for the flex disc, it definitely moves a bit further than the flex ball technology. And the exfoliating pad or bar that Gillette is naming this for, it feels okay and based on the texture that I am feeling right now. So to release the uh, razor, you have to push the tab here. 
Oh, there you go. You have to actually push all the way out and the cartridge itself is actually going to pop itself. So to push it back in, you have to line up this part here inside the cartridge and just so, there it clips. So again, to take it out, you have to push it all the way, just like that and it will pop up. I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit different in terms of releasing the cartridge versus the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. And this is the stand. The stand itself is actually quite heavy. And the magnet that comes with it. I mean, it's there, however, it's not that super strong than what I am expecting to. Only goes one way, by the way. Again, it comes like that, as so, the replacement cartridges. Now, what I can see here, I have a feeling that the cartridges for the Fusion Pro Glide is probably much more expensive to produce, considering this racer design and the cartridge itself. So I'm gonna grab one here. As you can see, the design itself. There's more moving parts on the Fusion Pro Glide versus the cartridge for the Gillette Labs. Also, there's more parts. This part here, the actual exfoliating bar, is not here anymore. Like what I mentioned it's actually built in to the racer itself. One thing you have to remember is the cartridges themselves uh, between the Fusion Pro Glide and the Gillette Labs are not interchangeable. So that's a sad part. So if you happen to be that guy that bought a lot of cartridges for your Fusion Pro Glide and you want to switch over to the Gillette Labs, you might want to use all of your cartridge first. Secondly, I was Looking into this razor in terms of different options, they actually have like other version that's rechargeable with heating pads. However, they don't have a version that comes simply like this, where you can put a AAA battery and have that nice vibration feeling while you are shaving. And the Fusion Pro Glide have that version. Unfortunately, the Gillette Labs doesn't have that feature. So again, they do offer that nice premium feeling. But I am actually quite surprised that this razor itself, it's a little bit lighter than I expected. And by the way, this part here, this new razor here, it actually have a lifetime warranty, which I'm actually quite surprised because I mean, other than the 2D flex disc technology here, I mean, it's not really easy, I believe, to break this part unless you drop it multiple times. Mind you, the Fusion Pro Glide, the one that I have here right now, I have dropped this razor tons of times and it never broke. So for Gillette to provide a lifetime warranty, that's actually quite interesting. And looking further here, I am not sure if you could actually replace the exfoliating bar. However, I can definitely see the spring part. It's hard to see, it's right there. Here, one here, one there. And it definitely offers a bit more range of motion compared to the Fusion Pro Glide. However, I'm just quite surprised that it's actually a lot lighter than the Fusion Pro Glide. So that's probably the reason why the cartridge themselves is a bit cheaper in terms of cost because there's less parts available. As you can see. Other than that, they still have that moisturizing strip. It's a little bit thicker compared to the Fusion Pro Glide. In terms of length of the cartridges, they're just about the same. Also, they have the trimmer at the back. So there's not much difference between the two, except Gillette was able to incorporate the exfoliating bar from the cartridge itself from Fusion Pro Glide right on the body of the racer. So I believe Gillette is actually trying to cut costs in terms of design. So that's actually a pretty smart way of doing that. Other than that, there's not much difference. However, in terms of feel and experience using this product for shaving, 
I have yet to find out. I am actually going to try it and let you guys know in regards to my shaving experience. However, for the price that I have paid for, again, 30 bucks for a nice razor from Gillette in terms of what I've seen so far, my initial impression, that is quite difficult to beat considering that razor from Gillette itself is usually quite expensive. So anyhow, that's it for the unboxing part. There's not much into it. Again, it comes with eight cartridges, one razor with exfoliating bar, and right now Gillette managed to include this Gillette magnetic stand. This one actually feels really good. It has a nice weight in terms of a stand. It's quite heavy. However, I find that this is just gonna take up some space on my countertop and I'll probably end up not using it. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing for the Gillette Labs new razor. Again, I got this from Costco. The price I paid for, I believe, is a great deal. Hey everyone, so for this test, I am going to use the new razor from Gillette called Gillette Labs. I'm gonna try to test it based on my way of testing the hard way, which is actually not using any shaving cream so that I can gauge what kind of experience I can get from using this new razor from Gillette. I know some people might say, oh, how come you don't use shaving cream? I don't, I'll be honest with you. I got into the habit of avoiding shaving cream and it works really well for me. I don't get any skin reaction whatsoever. I have been using the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide for years now with the moisturizing strip. What I normally do is I just use some warm water and I uh, soak my face and go from there. So that's what I'm about to do. And hopefully this new razor from Gillette delivers. I am actually quite excited. This is the first time I am going to use it. So stand by and let's get at it. So here it is guys, I already uh, soaked my face with some warm water and we are going to try this experiment with the Gillette Labs razor. Hopefully we get a good experience out of it. So let's give it a go. Okay, well, so far that is actually a good feeling. I'm getting a very little tug. Not that it bothers me, but this is actually a pretty good racer. The blades are quite sharp. That's pretty obvious for something that is brand new. As you can see, I'm doing multiple passes without rinsing the eraser. I just wanna see if I'm gonna have any discomfort whatsoever. And so far, none. <laughs> wow, this razor is amazing. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, Gillette always delivers when it comes to razor. I never got disappointed with their product. And even the trimmer. Wow. So in terms of feeling, definitely feels a lot the same as the Fusion Pro Glide. That is definitely my take. So it really feels good using this razor to shave. I have the same experience using the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. Now, going back to the functionality, the Flex Disc technology with this new razor is just pretty much the same as the Flex Ball, not in much difference. Although this technology here with the Gillette Labs provides a bit more range of motion, as you can see. However, the part here that Gillette is trying to market for the exfoliating bar, find that it's actually feel a bit rougher or harder compared to the exfoliating bar here with the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. It's a bit more soft. So for this one, it's not so bad. I feel it, but I don't feel that nice pronounced sensation where it's nice and soft. I feel it's on the harder side. 
But other than that, it works good and I feel good. The moisturizing strip here works really well. I like that it's white color now. I guess Gillette will probably save some more money on this in terms of manufacturing the razor cartridges. The reason for that is the Gillette Fusion Pro Glad. As you can see, uh, this is usually a nice light blue color however the color does change over time which kind of indicates to you that it's time to replace the cartridge but for this one i mean this is all white i have a feeling that moisturizing strip will just start to fall off and that's when you know that it's time for new cartridges however i'll be honest with you i never go by that moisturizing strip i always go in terms of the quality of shave i get if i still can get a nice smooth shave then I keep using the cartridge because the cartridges are quite expensive. They're not cheap at all. I mean, for the Fusion Pro Glide, easily 25 to 30 bucks Canadian for about four packs. Now for the replenishment or replacement for the cartridges for the Jet Labs, they're actually ranging in the same price. I have checked Shoppers Drug Mart as well as Walmart here in Canada. And the price are just pretty much the same as you can see in this video here. However, this is what really gets me is that I am quite surprised that Costco is able to sell this product, the whole pack of this for 30 bucks Canadian. And that is a great value. And like what I said, you're getting eight cartridges, one razor with a magnetic stand. I mean, the magnetic stand can pretty much go. I don't really need it. That's just an added bonus. So anyhow, that's it for the quick review of this new racer from Gillette Labs. Uh, this is the newest racer. I love it. New best friend in the Hudson now every morning whenever I shave. I love the feeling. It's actually quite nice and smooth considering I don't use shaving cream. So that I can definitely vouch for the quality of shave you will get for this racer. I just hope that the price for Gillette products would be nice if it comes down a little bit. However, it is what it is. You know, you pay for the quality that you get. Anyhow, that's it for this video. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions or you're curious about this product, please let me know. Leave a comment down below this video. I'll be more than happy to reply. Also, if you are one of those people that is ready to this new racer from Gillette, please let me know as well. I am curious as to what kind of experience you get. And if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the bell to receive latest updates for my newest upload. Until next time, see you again.